Okay, this is another example of car tires and what the numbers mean. Um, don't judge on the rims. I haven't washed it in a while. Anyway, that's beside the point. Okay, so this tire has the marking <clears throat> 235 slash 60 R18. Again, the R stands for radial. It's just a kind of tire. Um, so we're going to take this and we're going to use all these numbers and we're going to figure out what they mean. So the first one we see is this 235. And we said before that that's our width. width. 60 is the aspect ratio. And then 18 is the rim diameter. So, okay. So 235 is my width, and that is in millimeters. So width equals 235 millimeters. I'm going to want to put that in inches because I want everything to be, like, uniform. The diameter of my rim is 18 inches. So I'm going to list that down here. So diameter of my rim is... Looks like doctor, that's not it. Okay, I'm gonna put the R down low. Okay, diameter of the rim is 18 inches. And then I need to know the height because I wanna know the entire diameter of my tire or, you know, the whole wheel assembly thing. Okay, so I need my height, but I don't know my height. It's not given in the little thing, but what is given is the aspect ratio. So my aspect ratio is 60%. So that's 60 over 100, right? So the aspect ratio we said before was the ratio of the height to the width. So this is the height over the W. So I can use that to find my height. So the first thing I want to do is I want to convert my width into inches instead of millimeters so that it will go with everything else. So convert. Okay. So I know that one inch, I'm gonna write this over here. So one inch is 25.4 millimeters. Should probably check that, pretty sure that's what that was. Okay, so I'm gonna take my width. So my width is 235 millimeters. <clears throat> and then I wanna convert. So I'm gonna draw my little conversion thing. I want inches, so that's what I'm going to put up top. And I have millimeters, so that's what I'll put on the bottom. So I have 25.4 millimeters and one inch. So my millimeters cancel. So if I divide that out, I get 235 divided by 25.4. I get 9.25. So that's how wide my tire is. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to put a bubble around it so I don't lose it. Or a cloud. Anyway, so I have that. And then, so what I need now is I need my height. So let's see. My height, we said the aspect ratio is height over width. So I'm going to write this down here. So AR equals height over with times 100 to put it into percent form. So if I move things around to get my height by itself, I get height equals AR times W over 100. And I did that step by step in the last video, so I'm not doing that here. So if I plug everything in, and I'm going to use my width in inches, not the millimeter one, so I get my height equals I plug in my 60 times 9.25, and I'm going to divide that by 100. So my height then is 60 times 9.25 divided by 100. I get 5.55 inches. So now I want to fill out my little table. Okay, so I started out with... Okay, so this is what we're started with. So we're going to fill this into the table. And you'll notice I order, I, I added one more row on the bottom. We'll talk about that. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fill in the ones that were given in white, and then I'll put the other ones in different colors or in a different color. Okay, so my aspect ratio was 60. That's in percent, so I just leave it as 60. The width that we're given is that 235, and that's in millimeters. So I'm going to leave that there. And the diameter of my rim was 18. 
Okay. So then my height, I mean, sorry, my width, width we calculated. So I went back over here. My width was 9.25 inches. So I'm going to put that on. So I'm going to change the color. Um, let's make so 9.25 inches. Then I calculated my height, and my height was 5.55 inches. We haven't calculated the diameter yet, but um, from before we saw like if this is the tire, I know it's super, super fancy. Um, we have the diameter of the rim here, and then we have a height here and a height here. So my total diameter is gonna be the diameter of the rim plus the height on the top and the height on the bottom, so two heights. So I can do that. I can go 5.55 times two plus 18 and that's gonna give me 29.1 inches. Okay, that's all we did on the last video, but we really kinda of want circumference because that's gonna tell us whether or not we're speeding when we think we're not supposed to be. So let's calculate that. Well, if you remember back long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, you did geometry way, way back. Probably tried to repress those memories, it's okay. So circumference of a circle is just two pi r, right? But two times r is your diameter, so this is really diameter times pi. So diameter times pi. Sometimes we put the pi in front of the d. I like that better. Pi times diameter. So this, we're gonna use our overall diameter, which was 29.1, and we're just gonna multiply that by pi. So circumference equals pi times 29.1. So that gives me 91.42 inches. 91.42 inches. This is actually an interesting number because every time your tire spins once, your car moves that far. That's why circumference is a big deal. So 91.42 inches. And our table is done. So the circumference is gonna be a, a bigger deal on our next video. But this is our table. Ta-da!